President, Mr. Zain, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Garcia, for your work. And you. I have a, a, a one simple question. I appreciate the work you did when you were on the Oversight Committee for our, <coughs> our school bonds, one of the largest uh, public works programs in the country. Uh, uh, and uh, you certainly were a voice for us to uh, do more joint use, to think about the collective neighborhood. Uh, and you did it at a time when the district was trying to build some confidence in the voters and the public that we can indeed school, uh, build schools. So the mission for our facilities team at the time was, <clears throat> it wasn't the mission, but the, the mentality was don't bother us with anything else right now. We just got to build schools because we haven't built schools in 30 years. Um, you know, there's some success now. We've built some schools, about 60 in the last uh, four years, so there's a track record now. Uh, how do you see the challenges now? <clears throat> do you think there's a, uh, an opportunity now to really build parks next to our schools and do those joint facilities that we've always dreamt that we could do? Absolutely. And again, the fact that this city council <laughs> passed a motion calling for the joint use of parks and schools in December, I believe. The school board has now passed a parallel motion. I think um, there is change, there is hope, um, but it requires leadership. Um, and, and frankly, um, you as school board president, and now as a city council member can exercise such leadership um, at the Ascot Hills Park. It is immediately across the street from, I believe, Wilson High School. Mm -hmm. That is a prime example of an opportunity for the joint use of a park and a school. The school could be a magnet school for environmental history, environmental justice. The kids can walk across the street and plant um, and, and go on nature hikes and so on. Uh, similarly, at Taylor Yard, the proposal for a school uh, one lot over from the existing park is another opportunity for the shared use of parks and schools. Um, let me be clear, nobody ever says there's no land left in LA for high-rise condos or shopping centers or, or big apartment buildings. They only say there's no land left for parks or for schools. That's not true. The land hasn't gone anywhere. The price is going up. Um, so we need to address that question and have the resources. Um, but one possibility, very real possibility, is a local park bond measure to follow up on the one Prop K, I believe, that was passed many years ago. Voters have voted to tax themselves to create the money to build schools, as you know. Voters will vote to tax themselves to create more parks. I spoke at a conference in New Orleans last week with the mayor of Scranton, Pennsylvania. He's raised property taxes 26%. He's been reelected, and he's raised those taxes to create parks, and people welcome the opportunity to pay more to live in the kind of community where they want to live and raise children. So we're happy to work with you. Your office has called in the past about a poss possibility of a park bond measure. We're eager to work with you on that and on the joint use. Um, absolutely, the, 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 the sites should be situated uh, close together. But again, as the Miguel Contreras example showed, a $168 million high school, uh, the newest high school state of the art in the country, and the gates were locked for the summer because neither the school district nor the city of LA would pay $13.85 an hour for lifeguards. That's not a question of lack of resources. That's a question of lack of leadership, lack of, um, of, of, of spine. And um, unfortunately, the mayor's office did not unlock that gate last summer. Again, we will make sure they unlock it this summer, but there's been change, and there continues to be change, and above all, there is hope. Yeah. And one quick final point. I think you're right. In terms of the existing facilities, both on the city side and the school side, it's just a matter of leadership and yes. us working together to make yes. it happen. The limited resources are there. We just have to optimize their use and we particularly agree. to focus on their kids at our schools and how do we provide them the parks when they need them and how do we provide uh, more of the school's facilities when the public needs them. And unfortunately, we are in a situation where we have uh, budget constraints on both sides. The schools, for example, are asking local little leagues to pay increasing fees to use the schools. But I think we, we got to kind of break that mold and think more creatively about how we ensure that we are working a lot closer together. And that there is just a matter of leadership for us to collectively work together. On the side of new facilities, I think there we have a tremendous opportunity, both on the school side where there's still building more schools, why not create more parks while you're building those schools? Get creative how you design your schools so you provide uh, a, a park or some open space for the community to use as well. And uh, us too, as we move forward, hopefully we do get a park line and we create those, uh, those um, 
additional open space and parks. We do them near our schools so that our, our kids could benefit from them, given that many of our schools are cluttered with bungalows and very limited places for them to recreate. So thank you for your leadership. Thank You've you. been, I think, a real lone voice on this item for a long time. We hope to amplify your voice because this is something that we, we continue to discuss and talk, but we need to get you a big bullhorn and continue providing, providing you that so that we make this uh, uh, an urgency for the City of Los Angeles and the school district. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank Christian. you very much. And, and, and again, thank you to Councilman Labange and, and Councilwoman um, Hahn for asking us to do this presentation because we have for seven years been doing presentations across the country uh, in Ireland, um, a similar presentation. This is the first opportunity we've had to address the City Council and, and so it's a, it's a real honor, it's a real opportunity to move forward because sadly the, t or the two institutions that serve children the most are schools and parks and sadly in Los Angeles both have been failing our children but today and moving forward is an unprecedented opportunity for ha to have them both serve our children because it's the same taxpayers who pay for parks and schools, it's the same children who need places to play, it's the same um, uh, community that we're addressing uh, and healthy livable communities is our goal.